Okay, welcome to another episode of how to use the Figma Storefront UI Capybara design system uh, to quickly update your web, uh, create new themes for your website. Uh, today in this episode, I want to be covering. I'm going to cover how do you update your color system uh, quickly and update it throughout your website theme, and how to communicate that information to your developers. Uh, so the main information that you're going to want to change is your brand colors, basically. So it's broken out into brand, your base colors, your context colors, and your font colors. So these mostly are going to stay the same unless you really want to get into the nitty gritties. Your context colors might change the way the shades of success, warning, and info that you use. This is largely going to stay the same apart from your primary and secondary colors. Uh, if you really want to, you can add more brand colors, but I recommend just sticking to primary and secondary. It just makes it easy to manage your design. Uh, so these are all just visual representations of the colors. All of it is all laid out over here in the side panel, but this just makes it easier to visualize what your colors look like. So the way you come in and update this is basically you can just select a color and it shows what color you're going to be updating. Uh, so the primary and the variant color I think, yeah, both of these hex codes you're going to have to generate on your own and then come here and plug them in. So to update your colors, you can just select one of these tiles and get an exact look at what color you're updating. So the way this works is if you're familiar with how you theme Bootstrap, it's very similar to that. Uh, so yeah, when you come in and update this color, um, I recommend um, updating just the internal name and so your developers can come in look at the description and know what color to set up internally uh, basically they'll come in here and they'll get the hex value for whatever you set up and same thing for your variants and primaries basically uh, unfortunately it looks like Figma doesn't have a way to see the description in the inspect section that's something I feel like could be an improvement, but still I recommend you put in the internal name when you go into, um, so that that's, there's at least some kind of documentation of what name that is within your Figma design system. That's how you update the color. So for example, if you want to come in here and update your primary color to, I don't know, say something like a blue and your tint color is, uh, let's say it's some color like that. So now when we go over into our design system, we can see all of our primary things are set up with our new color and automatically anywhere where that color would be used by default is updated. So this is, just helps quickly set up our design and theme and get this out to whoever needs to see this so yeah and also this helps because all of your assets also automatically get updated so this imagery these SVGs that are used on your website also get updated with the relevant colors uh, so that's an easy way to update your assets too yeah that's how to use the color piece um, I'm just gonna quickly throw in the fonts here too fonts here is purely just documentation uh, this can't be like this is just for a way for your developers to easily come in and see what font families to use, what sizes to set up. Um, if you're using um, SFUI version less than uh, nine, I think you're gonna have font size X two XS and XL. But with, after I think after nine, it's just uh, these four right here. So yeah, update these. Your spacers can be updated right here too for documentation, but these also are used throughout the design. So these will update, like if you change these, these will also reflect in your design, so be careful with that. I'd say mostly you probably don't need to update these though. Cool, so let me just undo all this. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully this makes it easier for you to theme your um, Capybara theme, or, yeah.